What's up, Tuesday? On my way to the gym. Super happy to get back to it. I am like, you know, I, I ate decent in New York. I don't really eat much fast food or fried foods, but I definitely, definitely did a lot of walking on the trip, but just can't get over the feeling that uh, taking a week off from the gym was not the greatest idea as far as like making gains but you know you, you can't be too tethered to any program in your life you gotta live your life you gotta enjoy it so that week's behind me back to the gym going heavy on shoulders tonight so it should be fun it should be a struggle it's awesome, you know, I keep a very detailed uh, log of all my workouts and my, my weights and everything, so after taking a week off, I'm starting a new page in my journal, and that's exciting for me. That's really cool, like it's, it's nice to have come so far and to turn the page and to get into, you know, all these different higher weight groups. I'm pretty excited. You guys gotta see this though. There's this crazy sun shower happening behind me here. It's really quite pretty. It's always so pretty. You guys are probably getting sick of seeing sunsets, but you better find another channel to watch because I could do this all the time. It's amazing. Look at how nice the light is. Like, look at my face. That was an uphill battle, but I got there. Came in, matched all my personal records. <sighs> hey, so welcome back. It's, uh, what is it, Tuesday, two days after the con, after the weekend, you know, being home, just really finally relaxed you know I, I got to the gym today uh, had a really full work day really productive work day and you know there's there's something that maybe we should talk about I'm sure a lot of uh, a lot of my friends are familiar with the phenomenon just go out there and say it post con blues now if you're not familiar with that it's a very real very pervasive phenomenon especially within the uh, within the geeky scenes you know most of my friends that are cosplayers experience this and it's uh, it's very real it's it's affecting a lot of people right now a lot of my friends on social media are in a very tough spot you know I thought I thought I would bring it up just a little quick hit in this video nothing you know 100% like a serious call to action or anything but I just want to create some awareness to you guys who may not be familiar with this thing all right, so post-con blues, it's, it's a super real um, phenomenon, especially within the cosplay community, and it comes from the amount of time that it takes to do the things that, not really myself, my costumes are more like a very, very easy access, but a lot of the community that put just hours and, and months and and sometimes years into their craft that immediately preceding the the great unveiling and all the attention and, and all of the the media is a very steep decline in interest and, and within this community itself there are a lot of personalities um, that have come from somewhere very real very personal consciously decided to emulate something else to be something else momentarily or or on a larger scale so there's quite a few people that I know right now these last day or so that that can feel it coming and that are looking for an escape and that are still want to be living in that alternate persona you know one of my favorite um, inside the actor studios was with Lawrence Fishburne and uh, you know James Lipton he confessed that you know his mom used to say about him and his method is that 
he had a, a, a really easy time getting into character, but a very, very difficult time getting out. And I think, you know, a lot of us, a lot of us fall into that category. A lot of us fall into that archetype. Me personally, I mean, I, I after New York last year, I walked around with a Tony Stark goatee for four or five months or something like that. And it was just something that I, that I still have fun with. You know, I still like to put on a red tie and some fancy sunglasses and live a little bit of that high every day, but it's not sustainable, you know? So what, what I found in the past and the reason why I ventured into uh, Wade Wilson this year was you have to keep moving, you know, you have to keep being productive and, and being, um, dedicated to something and and a lot of times with with these characters with these cosplay you know characters or characterizations there are multiple versions of a particular character that you can do you know just to to uh, a Tony Stark speaking from experience you know you have the the most recent release the Age of Ultron Tony Stark that looks very very different from say Stark in Iron Man 2 or, or 1 or whatever, but y you tend to see that. I mean, there are already people all over Facebook right now posting pictures of what their cosplays for next year's New York Comic Con are going to be. You know, the, the, the one thing that you won't find in this video is all of this kind of hype around what candidate I'm going to vote for. That's something that I, is very personal decision to me and, and I really don't feel like it's up to any of us to share or to sway people in any one direction. Uh, if you're if you're watching this and it's you know Wednesday or Thursday or it's soon after whatever the October 12th, Google Mike Rowe's thoughts on the candidacy in the election this year and, and I think he had some very inspired words there and he's one one kind of a point of light in what I find to be a very confusing um, political landscape and there, there's there been some amazing um, letters to to both President Obama and the community at large that he's penned so beyond just being the guy from dirty jobs I would really really do some some reading into his point of view because if you're uninformed, if you're uneducated, I don't need you jumping on a bandwagon voting for something some YouTuber told you to, you know, do. It's not cool. Like, there are very real issues on both sides that mean things to all different kinds of people, and it's, it's up to you to decide. It's not up to anybody else. It's not up to anybody you look up to. And if you're not educated enough to vote, please, don't vote. All right. Thanks. Or maybe just vote for Deadpool. <laughs>